When you think back to learning algebra, I'm sure you remember the order of operations. If that doesn't ring a bell, maybe please excuse my dear Aunt Sally jogs your memory. Many students have used this acronym PEMDAS to remember to solve parentheses first, then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and finally subtraction. While well-intentioned, this trick emphasizes memory more than understanding. What's worse, it doesn't always work, and I'll show you why in a moment. Now, the order of operations is an important convention that enables everyone to communicate mathematically and agree about what an expression means. So at Dreambox, we designed lessons that help students become truly fluent with these conventions. Instead of giving students shortcuts to remember, like PEMDAS, Dreambox lessons engage students in using the order of operations to solve problems on their own. The situation in this lesson is that the student has been hired by a corporation to test the corporation's high-tech security system. So the screen shows a control panel where students use the buttons to solve operations in the order they choose. As students try different buttons, they see how much of the original problem they have to solve depending on which operation they choose first. In this expression, parentheses must be solved first. But in the next step, we have a problem. PEMDAS would say to multiply first. But division is the correct next step because division is the inverse of multiplication and we choose multiplicative operations in order from left to right. The student could always choose to mentally solve more than one operation at a time, but she chooses one step at a time in the correct order of operations. As she solves the problem, the control panel continues to expand until the student solves the entire problem and opens this lock. In this more advanced Dreambox lesson, students no longer need to compute the answers. Instead, they simply need to select the operations in an acceptable order. By design, this problem and others have more than one valid order. Here, the student chooses an exponent and subtraction operation first, which is acceptable for this expression. But the student is shown that the final three steps are in an incorrect order, and she is given a chance to start over. Once a valid order is chosen, the student sees the expression on the control panel simplify step by step in the order she chose. And finally, the lock is opened. Students also engage with this Dreambox order of operations control panel as one way to learn to solve equations containing variables. As in the other lessons, students must honor the order of operations, but now they also need to use the variable button to solve the equation by substituting the correct value for the variable. At Dreambox, engaging lessons like these are built specifically for our intelligent adaptive learning platform so that every student can make sense of mathematics. We empower students to think critically about the order of operations so that they can be truly fluent in algebra and beyond. Thanks for your time.